In this session, we discuss about what is light and sources of light. Different sources of light. Okay, let us discuss about what is light. See, if we entered into a dark room, what do you observe? The objects present there are not visible can't see the objects in that room in the same way if you sit on the bulb if you sit on the bulb you can see the different objects in that room this is a chair this is a table and so you can see different this is a wall clock so you can see the different objects in that room what happened here it is a light it is a we are having a light in this room so then we can see different objects that means light is a invisible energy which causes in a sensation of vision this light causes the sensation of vision because of this light we can see different objects in our surroundings if there is no light can't see any objects here but if you have a light source of light you can see different objects in that room so light causes the sensation of vision so what is the definition of light light is a, is a form of form of energy invisible which causes sensation of sensation of vision or sight okay sensation of vision or sensation of sight so what is the definition of light here light is a form of invisible energy this is invisible energy which causes in a sensation of vision so this is the definition of light so because of light we can see different objects and different colors in our surroundings so that is the definition of light let us discuss about sources of light what are the sources of light let us see you can observe so many sources of light primary source of light is sun the primary source of light is sun this is the primary source of light it is a huge ball of burning gases okay it gives emits tremendous amount of light so it is a huge ball of burning gases okay so it is a huge ball with burning gases it gives tremendous energy tremendous light and primary source of light next what is another source of light stars also we can see stars we can observe light from the stars so these stars also sources of light okay so this gives weak sources of light this gives a small light compared to the sun okay these are the one of the sources of light next what are the different sources of light electric bulb this is a this is also one of the source of light this gives a light energy next what is another source of light candle this also gives a light energy okay these are the different source of light electric bulb electric bulb and candle these are the different source of light so we can, in this way we can observe so many sources of light that is kerosene lamp the fluorescent lamp so these are the different types of sources of lights okay okay so let us discuss about some important terms that is luminous bodies and non luminous bodies what are the luminous bodies and what are the non luminous bodies okay let us discuss about them luminous bodies and non luminous bodies what are the luminous bodies bodies which can give the light energy by its own by themselves are called luminous bodies what are the luminous bodies here sun sun can give 
the light energy by its own okay observe here this is sun this is a luminous body what is another luminous body star stars also luminous bodies they can give light energy by themselves okay bulb electric bulb also a luminous body this can give the light by its own and this is a candle also a luminous body so these are the different types of luminous bodies what is the luminous body luminous body means which give out light energy by themselves are called luminous bodies what is the definition of luminous bodies so what are the luminous bodies the bodies which give out light energy this can these objects can give light energy by themselves by its own these sources of lights can give the light energy by its own so this type of bodies are called luminous bodies called luminous bodies next what are the non luminous bodies those bodies which do not give the light energy of their own such type of bodies are called non luminous bodies so consider moon luminous or non luminous this is non luminous body because it doesn't give the light by its own it reflects the sunlight this type of bodies are called non luminous bodies okay moonlight is a reflected light so moon doesn't give light by its own so this is non luminous body and what are the different types of non luminous bodies we can see different objects in our room they reflects the light and the light reflected light reaches to our eyes so we can see them such type of bodies are called non luminous bodies what is the example of non luminous bodies so this is an example of non luminous body the clock is on the table so it reflects the light in the room so this type of bodies are called non luminous bodies in this way we can see different types of non luminous bodies so what is the definition of non luminous body the bodies which do not give light energy by themselves are called non luminous bodies okay so in this way we can observe different types of luminous and non luminous bodies in our surroundings